Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the review of my uh, smallest and smartest uh, quadcopter that I have tested it until now. It's the new Chirkson uh, CX uh, OF and OF comes from Optical Flow. Uh, this small quadcopter as you have seen in the first part of uh, my review uh, has a small uh, camera underneath it which scans the environment beneath and uh, it knows how to lock into the position without having a GPS inside which is very smart and beside that it also has a camera it has Wi-Fi <laughs> control it has regular control so you can control it with your mobile phone you can control it also with the provided transmitter so plenty of ways of uh, controlling it and it also has pre-set flight modes and dances you can uh, uh, do a time scale and uh, uh, insert movements on it and the quadcopter will execute them so like uh, yo to right yo to left go in front turn back and so on and uh, you can create a kind of dance uh, that is uh, a way of playing with with it uh, but i'm just going to try to fly it outside which is a bit uh, uh, worrying because we have some uh, wind today and uh, this is more of an indoor flyer, not an outdoor flyer. But uh, I'm going to risk my chances. Maybe I won't uh, get it lost to the god of uh, wind, but we'll see about that. So I'm going to power it on, power on the transmitter also. I'm going to bind it with the transmitter with up down command. And now I need to connect to its Wi Fi as well. So there it goes yes it's connecting obtaining IP address connect Wi-Fi Wi-Fi connected so how do I get let's see free flight right so I want to see a video footage from the camera come on come on wherever you are going to try to enter the application again after I have connected to the Wi-Fi of free flight all right so there it goes we have video and it's now working and I'm going to start a video recording yes and it is recording I hope that you can see that but I'm going to add the footage from a mobile phone to this video so let's see if uh, locks into position and if it uh, can really fly so I'm going to use the automatic takeoff and now it's in position lock and altitude lock and you can see that is the wind it's fighting the wind but it's trying to get back into the position and it will eventually do it and there it goes it's back into the position which is really impressive I'm now trying to fly it into that direction and I simply cannot because the wind is too powerful let's try higher rates so I'm on maximum rate now you can see it's tilting but no I cannot Oh, all right it's struggling it's struggling okay so wind is getting a bit more low into intensity <laughs> this is funny it's a little CX OF fighting the wind I should have tested it first if this thing has a fail safe built into it but we'll fly reckless today so if it flies away we will see that into my video oh it comes fast into this uh, direction so you can see that lock into the position it flies really nice and you can do some uh, tricks with it which I don't recommend but I'm going to show you anyway so if you put your hand beneath it very fast like this now you can move it with your hand in any direction you want it to go as it's in a position following so it will follow the position so 
Mavic, beware, or Spark, Spark, sorry, Spark, beware. I have gesture control on my Cheerson, and I'm uh, 100 times cheaper. Not really 100 times cheaper, but this is very cheap for the technology it offers. All right, so the wind is blowing from that direction now. It's a weird effect here because I'm uh, uh, surrounded by these uh, buildings and when the wind blows it creates uh, turbulences and the wind will blow from that direction or from that direction and it will go something like that. Uh, here it has a kind of uh, tendency to lift things. So it's very tricky to fly quadcopters here but I like it because it's in the shadow. And this has nice yaw rate as well. Probably the camera footage won't be won't uh, be that great, but you cannot expect that much from this tiny bugger. And I have some pretty nice distance between it and me so I'm going to bring it a bit more closer come on come on get back home yay you did it and I'm uh, recording video uh, it has three minutes and a half while it's flying and oh it has auto landed uh, it was what I was about to say that uh, with all this wind and Wi-Fi and so on this thing has an estimated flight time of uh, 5 minutes indoor but with all of that wind it's impossible to have a normal flight uh, this thing only tries to keep its position very hard I'm going to stop the video recording from it that's very important to do bef before you shut it off because otherwise it will uh, corrupt the video file from it and there it goes the small warrior of the outdoor world the CXOF this should fly really nice outside in a calm day but not in a day like this and probably very nice indoor but I really wanted it to test it outside to see how good the optical flow positioning works and you can see it's doing an amazing job so very nice uh, small quadcopter for a beginner uh, very very nice actually too bad that it has a very low quality camera you can see it's like having five frames per second maybe the recording footage looks better but I doubt that but what can I say at this price probably you won't get any kind of better quadcopter and no quadcopter with optical flow positioning in uh, this price range so this was my flight test with the CXOF I'm going to do uh, an indoor flight as well soon and add some footage from it where uh, it doesn't have to fight the winds and uh, it will fly more gently uh, to see how the camera copes in uh, in that kind of environment so until uh, then bye bye